How do you feel about the youngster that's about to get drafted? Wimby. I know a little bit about him more. Rudy, that's, Rudy says that's his young fella, so. But I feel like, um, don't get me twisted, I, 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 I think he's going to be really good, but I think he... What happens when, like, you got like, someone like me running up with him full court? Like, what, what is that going to look like? Right. I'm excited. I want to, I'm ready to play against him and compete. Uh, Hello, everybody. Welcome back to NBA Cinema. Now, last night, the Minnesota Timberwolves faced off with uh, the San Antonio Spurs. And anybody, you know, that's been following the NBA from the summertime all the way to now knows that Victor Wembanyama. Uh, his name has been, you know, the, the talk of the town, no matter what city he rolls into. And Victor was actually facing, you know, one of his uh, mentors in Rudy Gobert last night. Um, and one of his teammates, Carl Anthony Towns, who actually had some things to say um, ahead of the season. He was actually on the, the podcast P, Paul George's podcast talking about Victor Wembanyama, really want being excited to play against them. And honestly, to start the season, uh, Carl Anthony Towns has been, you know, less than impressive. I mean, he's averaging 19 points, eight rebounds a game, um, shooting 32 from the three and 43 from the field. I mean, really not nowhere near any of his career numbers. He really struggled, but I'm one that, with Rudy Gobert being his teammate, and then the, the comments that he made uh, in regards to uh, Victor Wembanyama, you know, before the, the, the season started, or even uh, back to before he was even drafted, I feel like he had that extra motivation to perform, and it's no question that he had one of his better games last night uh, where he put up 29 points and 12 rebounds, Carl Anthony Towns did. And I know the Timberwolves like, look, be that motivated every night. I mean, they're already off to a really, really good start. Anthony Edwards has taken another leap forward. That's another story. But um, Victor Wembenyama seemed to have added some motivation to Carl Anthony Towns especially with a couple of plays uh, because, you know, Carl made mention that, hey, what is he going to do to have me running up court with him? Well, <laughs> Wimby did not disappoint in his performance either. He put up 29 points, uh, had nine rebounds, uh, four assists, and four blocks, and some pretty statement-type block um, on uh, Carl Anthony Towns. Um, and, and I mean, really made some really nice moves to kind of show, hey, I'm here, I've arrived, um, you're going to have to deal with me. And I mean, this is, you know, just game nine for the San Antonio Spurs uh, young star. And he, he is really proven to, uh, to live up to the hype. I would say, in my personal opinion, some may disagree, but him and Chet, are actually neck and neck, at least to me, for this Rookie of the Year so far. Chet has been balling out of control as well. Can't wait for them two to actually meet um, on the court. They they played each other in the uh, World Games. Um, and, you know, I can sense they're going to have, uh, with all the attention, because if Victor was not in the league, if he didn't get drafted this year or if Chet was able to just play out his rookie year or his first year healthy, um, then he would have been kind of the talk of the town because I don't know if you've seen OKC, but Chet has been balling. And then look at his shooting numbers. I mean, he is balling out of control, to be honest with you. He's been uh, much more efficient than Wimbenyama. He hasn't had the huge dynamic games like a 38 points on Kevin Durant and Phoenix. He hasn't had that kind of a statement game yet, but he's been the most consistent by far. He's actually been, you know, everything that OKC could hope for him to be right now. Rebounding, blocking shots, shooting the three ball really good. Right now, if I'm not mistaken, he's a 50-50-90 guy. And for those that are you don't know what I'm talking about. He's shooting better than 50% from the field. He's shooting better than 50% behind the three-point line. 
and he's shooting 90% from the line. I mean, those are, those are crazy efficiency numbers, crazy. But it, it was good, you know, to see, you know, Carl Anthony Towns actually um, show up because if they can get, if Minnesota can, they're sitting right now at six and two. If they can kind of get that level of consistency from Carl Anthony Towns to go with the defense of Rudy Gobert, to go with, uh, you know, the, the, the overall skill of Anthony Edwards, honestly, it seems like Minnesota is taking the spot that the Memphis Grizzlies once had. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the Memphis Grizzlies, everything... I don't need to rehash everything going on with John Morant, but it seems like with all that, that's really obviously affecting their team. There are star players not out there. Bain, Jackson Jr., they're trying to do all they can, but you can't, I mean, you know, you're not gonna replace what John Morant brought to you every night, and he's kind of taking himself out of it. And I don't see them being a serious contender this year, even when he gets back after 25 games. So, Minnesota looks like they are taking that next step and Anthony Edwards game has catapulted him to uh to a new level. Now Victor, he's uh you know still having a great see. I think now he's averaging right over 19 points a game. Um and you know he he's he's really really looking the park. I mean, you gotta remember this is his only his ninth game okay <laughs> and he's averaging 19 a game um kind of feeling his way getting used to a new playing style and everything i mean it, and he's not even he he's getting a lot in the flow of the offense you know what i'm saying they're not i think it's very good that popovich is not running any kind of you know too many he runs a couple of plays for victor but he's not saying, okay, you're our guy. He's letting him earn that and kind of develop other parts of his game in the meantime, which I, you know, that's that's why Popovich is, you know, future Hall of Fame coach. He's a Hall of Fame coach because he is allowing him to get all the other intangibles because we know Victor can score. Now he, he's just figuring out understanding speed of the game, time and pace, and that leap from year one to year two I can only imagine it's going to be crazy. Let me know what you guys think, man. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, and I'm going to holler at you next time. Peace.